Yeah, I got you. You all right? Yeah, I was checking. Yeah. Uh, should be Your good. Yeah. What um, keyed the start? You guys took control of this game. I mean, from the jump. Sorry, what's the what question? What keyed the start? What? Keyed it. Ah, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I guess. What was the mindset? What yeah. made that happen? You guys getting off to that fast start? Mm, I don't know. We didn't have a specific mindset, to be honest. We, uh, we come out aggressive. We come out like showing um, or playing hard and just playing our basketball. And um, and that was it. We didn't put any extra. Of course, maybe there's some like feeling from last game that we lost. So maybe we, we took that energy and, and put it into this game and that was it that was that was pretty much it we went up big and then it was a bit of a, like a yeah, maybe not as fun game no because when you're up 30s kind of like, uh, there we go let's just keep playing but uh, i think we did a decent job not great but decent job of of, of, of trying to keep pushing and, and adding to that lead you know and just focusing on what we need to do to to keep improving what makes this such a good defensive team and how is this defense maybe different from other groups you played in Mm, I think the personnel, of course, you know, the type of uh, players, like the type of, you know, defenders we have, that's, that's, that just on that first line makes it easier for me. And then I'm on, you know, on the backside and, 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 and trying to protect the rim. So, and of course, you have to give credit to the coaching staff, you know, the, the schemes, the defensive um, like schemes and how we play, it's, you know, it's, it's paying off and the numbers are good, although it can get better for sure. And, and that's what we always strive for, just keep getting better at, at what we already are doing. Pretty good job. Drew's impact might be going a little under the radar this year. Why do you think he deserves to be put into the All-Star game? Oh, because we're number one, huh? number one team in the league, and, and he's a you know previous All-Star player. Um, and I think uh, you can get like overshadowed by you know guys putting up numbers. And, but at the end, if you're winning, I think a lot of the things that he's doing that is contributing to winning in a big way uh, can go under the radar a little bit. And that's what's happening. And uh, but I think, uh, as I've said before, like if we keep winning. Uh, it, the personal like accolades will, will come. For stuff with nine straight games with 120 plus points offensively, what's making that possible? <laughs> um, again, I think it's just the talent, honestly. And, and uh, us, uh, I think, settling in a little bit into our roles, into our uh, way of playing. And, and and we're just that talented, to be honest. Like tonight, they're doubling JT. JT is willing to make the right pass and, and, and the right play. And that's an automatic huge advantage for us. And that's it. It's just uh, when you, again, I always keep repeating myself, but I'll say it again, like the, with these kind of talent, talented players playing, it just makes all these things so much easier. Teams are starting to play zone, more zone against you guys. Yeah. They're trying to shake things up, and your offense has been very dominant. And you said, how do you approach a zone? What, what, what's it like when you're standing in the middle of a zone? And, and mm. how do, you, do you like when teams play zone against you? Does that give you more options? Yeah, I mean, it's you have to read, no? You have to read and try to exploit some of the weak spots. And, and I think we did a pretty good job today. It was a little bit weird zone. And the OKC zone was weird too, I'm not going to lie. It's not like a classic zone that, that we have played these last two games against. Uh, but I think we do a good job of picking it apart, getting open looks. And then it's just a matter of us making it, making the shots. And I think uh, the, the answers like to those zones that are given to us by the coaching staff are good. You know, And, and Joe's doing a great job. And, and, uh, and that's it. We want to, you know, we want to keep seeing different kind of um, looks thrown at us, you know, so we can, so we can learn everything and, and know what weapons to use in each of those scenarios. Christoph's question. Sí, la verdad que nuestra afición es increíble aquí, aunque hoy ha sido uno de los partidos más tranquilos. Eh, porque estábamos arriba 30 ya en, la, en el segundo cuarto, ¿no? 
pero aún así eh, jugar aquí es, es como, como nada, eh, esto es diferente y, y, y somos, eh, como se dice, eh, nadie nos ha ganado en casa ¿no? y queremos seguir esa racha. Can I do one more in English, Heather? Yes. Indy, he missed the matchup in the ISD. Yeah. Is that, an, I mean, a high scoring team, what does the approach have to be? Uh, we know what kind of basketball they play. We've seen them a couple times already, you know, or two or three, or one. Maybe one? No, two, two, two for sure. Two, times, two for yeah. sure, yeah. But one with Halberd, you know? Yeah, And right. with Halberd, they're like a different, you know, different level team. And we know what kind of basketball they play super fast, like running, chaotic, setting screens, slipping out shooting a bunch of threes and and that's a dangerous team you know it's it's um it's a team that can on any night go off and and, and be hard to stop uh, and we had to do a really good job of, of trying to contain those guys so so they feel our pressure on the defensive end and uh and i think then then we'll take care of business